More protests on the streets of Philadelphia mark the second day of the DNC. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden is live outside City Hall where Black Lives Matter protesters are gathering. Joe? Hey guys, good evening, and they are not here just yet. In fact, the stage is set for them to come down here. First, I have to tell you, traffic across Center City is a mess right now, and here is the reason why. There are Philadelphia police officers stationed at virtually every intersection here, starting at Broad and Arch, and then take it down the line. You can see the flashing police lights in the distance. That is the very front of the Black Lives Matter demonstration. There are quite a few officers down here awaiting their presence here just outside of Philadelphia City Hall. But uh, coming north and south because of this mess on Broad Street, it is a very sizable demonstration. Traffic is really, really having a hard time going both north and south. And then it is tied up here on Arch Street as well. Of course, the Vine Street Expressway. Now, we were inside the demonstration just about an hour ago. They are, of course, as you know, marching to protest excessive force by police. They have signs pointing to high-profile cases across the country where they allege police use of excessive force cost lives and, in some instances, lives of unarmed black men. The march was peaceful and included about 200 people of all races. It started about an hour behind schedule at Broad and Diamond and has slowly since been tracking down Broad towards City Hall. The demonstration unfolded under, under the watchful eye of dozens of Philadelphia police officers we asked some of the demonstrators why they thought it was important to participate in the march. We want justice. We want freedom. We want police brutality to stop. We want murders to stop in our own community. We need unity. We need unity to come together to make sure that we're getting rights and justice for all people. Um, the school district, everything, you know, there's so much going on within the schools. Our the children are not getting adequate ed education. So back live here, you are looking live at police uh, just a few moments from now, going to shut down the intersection here at Broad and Arch as the Black Lives Matter demonstration moves through Center City. We have tactical air overhead flying above to give police uh, obviously a bird's eye view of exactly what is going on down here on the ground. But right now, from my vantage point, it looks like traffic is shut down uh, just as far north as Cherry Street, possibly at Vine, is where the police line is right now. Of course, moving just ahead, just a few steps ahead of those Black Lives Matter demonstrators, and there is Tactical One above. That is the very latest live here near City Hall. Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Joe, thank you for that.